Аз съм учил в техникум по електротехника в Пловдив. Съм завършил. От тогава искам да се занимавам с медицинска електроника. По стечение на обстоятелствата обаче в живота не става винаги това, което ти се иска да стане и попаднах в Висшето военно въздушно училище. И както си казах, всяко зло с добро. Получих много сериозно образование там. Продължих по-нататък, въпреки че учих други неща, но, но в крайна сметка стана това, което искам и това, което ми беше мечтата. Нашата секция аерокосмически техники и технологии е много интердисциплинарна. Работим в различни направления в областта на националната отбрана, в областта на бордови компютърни системи, които се използват в авиацията и в космоса, разработваме системи за сигурност, системи за, за нужда на нашето здравеопазване. Има една крайна цел. Това, което го правим, то да е полезно и да може да бъде оценено от хората. We call this device the egg dynamometer because of its shape and size. So I will show you how it works now. It provides the user with an interactive guide on performing continuous or intermittent muscle contractions. The possibility to prescribe and control training allows the activation of different muscle fiber types and different training outcomes, i.e. muscle strength and endurance development, local muscle aerobic or anaerobic capacity. The results from each test or training method performed using the egg dynamometer are saved in the application to provide detailed performance evaluation and monitoring of the progress of an athlete or patient. My name is Arosin Kolev. I'm 36 years old. I have more than 12 years of experience in the areas of new product development, marketing and sales. I started work as a strategy consultant with a focus on data analysis, uh, designing, creating and implementing various forecasting models for estimating the business potential of new products and markets. I generally focused on my work on small and medium enterprises, startups, developing various innovative products in the areas of software, healthcare and well-being. Today I'm a full-time entrepreneur working on several projects all focused on improving human health and quality of life. Our experience and company have its roots in products and projects in some of the most demanding fields such as military, aerospace and healthcare, giving us a no-nonsense, rigorous approach towards product quality and effectiveness. We apply these strengths to all our end consumer products, putting on top clear user friendliness and attractiveness. Our short and medium term plans focus on finalizing the development of our top products, broadening our partner network and successfully penetrating EU and world markets. Our ultimate goal would be to have a really good high quality product offered to the market of end consumers. If I could sum up our work ethics, it would be aim for the improbable, do the necessary, achieve the best. Ние се стремим да създаваме все по-умни и по-достъпни за всеки един човек продукти, да направим живота на хората по-добър и по-пълноценен. Ето защо не спираме да творим, защото, както казва френския пилот и писател Антуан Дюсент Икзупери, човек е толкова голям, колкото са големи мечтите ми. According to the World Health Organization, physical inactivity causes to the death of half a million Europeans a year. In practice, this means four out of five citizens of the old continent are suffering from this new illness. Physical inactivity is one of the worst diseases of the 21st century, a conclusion supported by doctors, scientists and experts on physical activity. Well, FIBO board uh, is the world, uh, world's first training board of its kind because uh, it, it is uh, using uh, weight, uh, especially force, sensors. This unique combination allows both detailed and easy to perform assessment of the current physical state of the user, which provides crucial opportunities for optimizing their training plan. FIBO is a unique system for testing and training of climbers, providing effective feedback for the intensity of muscle contraction, duration and number of repetitions. 
The intensity determines the direction and effectiveness of the training and cannot be monitored under usual climbing conditions. FIBO allows exactly for this precise monitoring and control of the training during the execution of standard tests, delivering maximum effectiveness of climbing. Are you ready to become part of the team?